Hi there, this is Juan Carlos Gonzalez in Office Apps and Services MVP. First of all, I hope all of you are okay, and now let me introduce you the topic for today's video. In today's video, I will show you how you can easily create Microsoft Teams meeting from Google Calendar. The good news is that the process for creating a Teams meeting from Google Calendar is very straightforward. The bad news is that, at least in my test, the end results are not so good. But let's go for the demo. So here I am in my Google Calendar setup, and as you know, you can create, as happens with Microsoft uh, Outlook, either in the web or in the desktop, you can create an appointment, an event, by clicking on just create event. When doing that, you are going to see this model dialog that allows you to define your event. If this is going to be an event that is uh, going to be or is going to happen through by the conference, the default options in Google as, as one could expect is that uh, you can use Google Meet. But what about using Microsoft Teams? Is that possible? Yes, it is. For doing that, first of all, you need to install the Microsoft Teams meeting add-on created by Microsoft. So you have to access the Google Workspace Marketplace. I'm already there. You can search for the add-on. And then the only thing you need to do is to install. Of course, you can first review what is that this add-on about, the permissions required in order to run, because obviously you have to do the related consent and some reviews. So let's click on install. I'm going to confirm. And now I'm going to be requested which is the account I'm going to use for installing this app. Obviously, this is my current email account in Gmail. And then you have the permissions required for the add-on. So everything should be fine. So I'm going to click on allow. That's the end result. If everything goes well, the add-on is installed. And you can start now to create events in your Google Calendar. But in those events, you can add Microsoft Teams meetings. So I'm going to close this. I'm not really done. And I'm going to go back to the Google Calendar. I'm going to refresh here. And I'm going to create an event in my calendar. So I'm going to click on Create Event. There we go. Then I'm going to see the same experience, but with a slight difference. As you can see here, now I have more one than an option to create an online meeting. So I can either choose the default options, Google Meet, or I can choose Microsoft Teams Meeting. I'm going to do that. It's taking some time. Basically, it's treating the credentials behind the scenes. Just in case if there are no Office 365 credentials, you will be requested to uh, type your credentials. You can even add the location over here, as you can see here. Or uh, you can add the description. This is uh, Juan Carlos Gonzalez. This is the person that is scheduling the meeting. So I'm going to say here, this is another Teams event created for, by uh, from uh, Google Calendar in this case. And I can click on Save. As you can see here, thanks to that one, you not only have the Microsoft Teams meeting link, but also the meeting options. Well, here is where the bad news is start to appear because the meeting options are not working as expected. And I have seen this in a couple of uh, Microsoft 365 accounts. That's the thing. Uh, it, it doesn't work. It works in my Microsoft 365 uh, MVP tenant. It works there, but I cannot show you uh, the setup there because of NDA reasons. So it's a pity, but yeah, in general, it should work. Let's say that. So if I click meeting options, what I'm going to see is that I don't have permissions to modify the meeting options. That's strange because I'm logged here with this account. But yeah, seems I already know this. This is what I can tell you. Strange. The other thing here is that you can join the Microsoft Teams meeting. And apparently, you can, can have access. Even you are accessing the team meeting with the uh, actually with the corporate user in the tenant where the Teams is, uh, the where, Microsoft, where Microsoft Teams is hosted, but I'm having the same experience. So now here, I'm going to be able to join the meeting. There we go. But I'm going to stay in the lobby because this is the setup I have in this particular environment. So I cannot access the Teams meeting. So bear in mind that maybe you also could face those limitations I have faced in my case in at least two tenants. But either way, the purpose of the video was showing you how you can create uh, Microsoft Teams meetings, uh, Microsoft Teams meetings from Google Calendar. So I can click on Save. 
there we go. And of course, you can do some other things, such as editing, of course, the event, or you can even join the meeting that, as I showed you, is not going to work. And that's all of what I have today in this video. I hope you have fun useful. I hope you are okay. And please stay safe and take care. And of course, as always, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel just in case you want to be up to date to any content I produce around Microsoft 365, Microsoft Teams, SharePoint Online, or Microsoft Lists, and any other services in the Microsoft 365 platform. So for now, thanks for watching and bye-bye.